Are you ready for a brand new radio show? It's a platform for you to express your experience or views on any topic or theme. The Black Experience Show is the only five-star rated show on radio presented by the mental farmer, Dr. Lyndon Walters, talking high science for the mind, emotion, and body in his unique style on Bless Radio every Saturday, 10 a.m. through 1, or on the World Wide Web, www.blessradio.org. You can call or text on... Yes, well, you can call or text anytime we run again, which is next Saturday. We start at 10 o'clock. We finish at 1. This is the Black Experience Show, the f- only five-star rated show. The dilemma is this, this situation of, of what do they really want? You know, what is their identity? You know, it's so cloudy for them at the moment. And all the people they look up to are people who have lost their identity, you know. Mm-hmm. So it's like the blind leading the blind, mm-hmm. you know. So this is the dilemma at this present moment with our young people is that, you know, they're, they're, they're getting mass information thrown at them constantly and not having no time out to discover who they are, what they are, and what is the essential requirements of what they need to do. Mm-hmm. You see, so this mm-hmm. is the dilemma at the present moment. So you're saying, in, you know, okay, there's no filter. To, They've got to too much. Oh, it's like, they, it, 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 it's too, have they, got they need too to go experience. to like a boot camp or something, or yeah. whatever. Yeah. You know, they've, they've, they've just got too much influences around them that they ain't even got a chance to even think or yeah. assess it. You know, it's just constantly thrown at them from the time they open their eyes to their sleep through the so there's no time for their brain and and really your brain has to go into solitary confinement to have a relationship with who you are mm-hmm. you have to be by yourself mm-hmm. you know mm-hmm. you have to be by yourself mm-hmm. you know away from your surroundings mm-hmm. you know, so just, as, a, as a man you're now a man rather than a boy but you've been through the I'm not even the, sure well you know what the term is you you well, you've to, matured. You've matured. matured. Yeah, that's okay, right. Let me because, use that because phrase. When, yes, I know. Yeah, I have yeah. to be very careful <laughs> what kind of words I use. Look, okay, I'm ready. Ready for me. <laughs> but, but that's good because, you know, yeah. it, it helps me as well. But can you empathize, though, with those youngsters who are being distracted or attracted? We know it's the same thing. Mm-hmm. Um, to all this morass. I wouldn't even just say mass, but morass. You know, this fungus, this bacteria, mm-hmm. this addiction to something else. Well, basically, that's my whole design. This is what this is what I'm really targeting is to get through to our, our use. You know, because they're really they're, they're a younger version of you, mm, of and, and they're crea- they're they're closer to the creator than you. Mm-hmm. You know, they mm-hmm. can tell you about yourself and what you need to do. Mm-hmm. You know, I know the middle side, like the teenager side, that's another issue. But the very young ones, you know, the yeah. very young ones, they're the ones who I'm really trying to get to first. You know, well, before. we have to, don't we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So if that's we want to stem this thing. Yeah. So yeah. that's even like the book. No, I don't know etymology. Mm-hmm. You know, which is going to be back in. I know I, it's been a big delay so everybody who's purchased it online will be waiting they'll be back in two weeks time we've been moving these books again yeah so if you look at that book it's fully color and it's designed for our youth to recognize the sounds in the symbols in the letters so that's the first step is to get to them at a very early age and let them master the language and have the opportunity to think for themselves and learn the, meaning learn, of learn, learn the reality of the words that's yeah, right that's right because that's going to help them, yeah because it? your capacity to think is only by what the words that you know yes. or you've been trained to your use vocabulary, yeah your vocabulary yeah yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. because you're functioning from the, the words that you have in your head the sounds mm-hmm. in your head mm-hmm. if you've got a limited capacity of sounds you, yeah. your brain's only going to work in a limited, yeah, in a limited way, way. Yeah. You know, so right. firstly is to get these get get out used to have this book yeah. and and then to then to start to uh, and show them how to use the book, okay. you know, and and the link with the book as well is to our, our heritage as well. Yeah. Because that's the problem with our youth; they've got their heritage is 
they're showing them slaves. Mm, you know, every mm. film is a film about slaves. They get right? fed up with it. Or <laughs> every every mass movie, the, especially on this side of the hemisphere, mm. the black man's always the second. You've got the superstar, yeah. and then you've got the black mm. the black man standing mm. second. Figure. Even, even yeah. the black superstars, they're second. <laughs> yeah, I no... mean, did you see what happened to Diana Ross when she came to Britain? Did you did you hear the story? No, I didn't hear the story. She was going back to America. She got to the airport, and some one of the custom women came up to her and abused her racially. And she said, like, do you know who I am? You know, I'm Diana Ross. And the woman says, I couldn't care if you was X, Y, Z. And she, I think she, when she, was it when she came in? I think it was when she came into the country. Sorry, not when she was leaving. Right. Mm -hmm. Strip searched her and everything. Really? Yes. Wow. Yes, wow. out of sheer prejudice. Because don't tell me there's anybody on the planet who never heard of Diana Ross. Do you, do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah? And this wasn't a, a girl. This was a big woman, apparently. Yeah? So I'm, I just mentioned her because she just floated in my head. But I know many people who've been through this racism. Well, I think what it is, that, that's a, when you're talking to you, this is a, it is a terrorism. But if you look at the media, there's an attack on our image in the media. So, But we're going to come to that. Next I'm saying week it, again, it, but, yeah, but I'm I saying in relation to the to in you, relation to, please, because yeah. we've done that section yeah. already. I don't want to go fully yeah, but into But what I'm saying it. in relation to the youth, I just yeah. say, is this is the this is the problem because they're getting the mass all media, but there's there's, there's no not in no no positive image mm -hmm. for them to want to aspire to be in this current time. Mm -hmm. All the all the images that they've been given has been put to them. It's been basically plants or people who are misguided. So these are the images that they've got to look up to. So that's why, yeah, my role now is to try to um, analyse, make the language more powerful. That's what I'm up to now, is, mm -hmm. is to mm -hmm. use this, use hopefully this skill that I've been gifted to, to now to empower people. The same way the language has been given, designed and given to us to keep us down, mm -hmm. is the same way we can take this language and we can, we can redefine it and and raise ourselves and break the chains of mental slavery. Mm -hmm. So that's my mission so now. So the mental slavery thing is, it's a reality, isn't it? I mean, mm -hmm. we, can't, we can't hide away from that. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and every time somebody show themselves or highlight their behavior, which is not acceptable to us, and they're wasting their talent, they're wasting their capabilities, they're wasting their potential, and they're actually um, contributing to the body part department. You understand what I'm saying? They're the business, yeah? Did you know, David, I want to go back to that. But can I just take you back to, you said about 13-ish, mm -hmm. yeah? Can we just go back there with you and say... So from there, where did you go? Well, I, I started to get interested in music as well. Mm -hmm. My friend had a, a valve amp that his uncle gave to him. And I went around there and then uh, he's playing his music and then we had the mics, set, he, he had various inputs to put mics in. And as soon as like the mic touched my mouth, wherever, then we started, then that was it for me. That was it, that was it for me, with music, you know? I just, I don't know. Something just clicked in that I was just, I just had this, um, developed this um, passion for music. You know, it started with us like running ourselves on the microphones and stuff, and I was always a group of the lyrics. Mm -hmm. You know, at that time I liked the, the toasting, the, the sats, and the, the stereograph, and all that. And then what happened is there's one day when I think all the, the DJs they were got drunk, where they left the, the records there, and I started playing the records, and it developed from there. So the music kind of took over, and I started to, to do music, and then and then I went into jobs, various jobs that I done. Working for the civil service. Up to well. what age? Where have we got to now? About twenties. My twenties. Yeah, twenties. Right. In okay. the twenties, I started to work for the civil service. Mm -hmm. You know, doing uh, prison service headquarters. I was doing adjudications, so I was doing like the, the letters that, when a prisoner had a problem, they went to the head office, and then, then we sent out uh, information from to get to, to, to the prisons to the governors of the prisons to find out and then that went to like the director general so it's what quite sort of thing were you supposed to be finding out in that show any, well anytime a prisoner has a problem mm -hmm. you know that, and, 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 and when you say a problem I mean let's say the problem. screws will beat them yeah, up that's right, or that's right, whatever that's right. abuse them or whatever yeah. I mean do you think that 
that prisoner was free to express themselves and say, you know, the screws beat me up every day or they threaten me or they hold me down and do this and that to me. I mean... Yeah, they would, get, they would, get, they would send letters to us. Yeah? They would send letters to us and then we would pass a judgment on, on that. But, but I'm still going to go back there. And I'm, I'm still going to go back what there. What happened in finally my job, mm -hmm. I started to get... Like, I was the only one of my kind in that department. When you're saying you're kind, what are you saying? <laughs> I want to hear you, man. <laughs> say, say that loud. Uh, uh, my uh, kind of presence and a uh, tone, I would say. Yeah. My tone in, the, in that. So basically, I start... Not based on colour? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> when you say yes to not based on colour, are you no, saying that yes part, that was part, Yeah, that was part of it. That was part of it. That was a, that was a big part of it, actually. What, what was a big part? It was not... Let me be clear. Was, are you saying, David, that it was not based on colour? Or are you saying it was based on colour? It was based on colour. OK. Now, I just wanted to be clear. <laughs> <laughs> and, and intelligence. That's and another intelligence. Thing. It, wasn't, it wasn't just yes. that. Yes. So I, somebody felt yeah, intimidated so so by your intelligence? Yeah, yeah, so basically I started yeah. to get a red mark through all my... Ooh. No explanation. You're supposed to have an explanation. explanation. So no explanation. Wow. And then at a later date, then I found out that that person was learning the language. Wow. They had a book on how to write write uh, adjudications. Mm -hmm. So I realised that my level of uh, language was above my manager's wow, level of language. Wow, say that again, uh, man. What? Yeah, I, I realised that my level of language and how I constructed sentences was above my manager's uh, level. And wow. the la of course the manager couldn't admit to that. So had to put a red line for it and tried to force me to write simpler sentences which I was rebelling against oh look at so my virgin if I can just refer mm -hmm. to identity again they were and, and tell me if I'm mm -hmm. incorrect in my I don't like to assume but mm -hmm. having just done those programs on your show mm -hmm. about identity so we're talking about them wanting you to move from a success identity to a failure identity would that be a fear? That's correct wow. it's come back to me because it's art as well what it is I, think, I can't remember how old I was maybe about seven or eight and then someone just drew a picture and next thing I could draw I could just draw straight away. Talk to me about that, David. Talk to no, me about that. What, what age was this? Maybe about seven, seven or eight. Oh, so we're going back we again. Going yeah, back. Yeah, oh, let's dip cool. in, let's dip and in. And my, my, mm -hmm. my dad had a friend called Cheese. Cheese? <laughs> nah. He was a really... Don't tell character. me he had a bread in name Crackers. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so he had a bread called Cheese. Yes. Really funny guy. And then he must have saw me scribbling on a piece of paper. And then he drew this small human of a character, I mean, sort of small picture of a, a, a cartoon character. Mm -hmm. And I just find myself, I copied it exactly. I couldn't believe it that he drew this picture, because I was just doing random scribbles, and he drew a, a, a cartoon character. Mm -hmm. And I just, I copied it, I couldn't believe that I copied it. And from there I could just draw. Wow! Just, just draw from that straight. So, let me put it in, in this perspective. David Jammers at seven, came to a reality of yet another genius part of himself. No, but that's what it is. Okay. It's got to be sheer genius. I mean, nobody taught you to do it. This is coming from within you, right? That, did I hear you right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. No, no, let me hear you, man. Let me hear you right. Yeah, well, it came from somewhere, you know. <laughs> but, but you see what it I'm saying? Me, yeah, and I never... It come from within you. Yeah. It did not come from with outside of you. Mm -hmm. On outside was the motivation mm -hmm. that you felt inside from just seeing what? How the man did it or what it came out to be? What was it? I, really, I think how, how he did it and what it came out to be, both. So both of those elements yeah, yeah, had those something elements, to do with yeah. you discovering something new yeah. within yourself. That is very, very mm -hmm. powerful indeed. You know, so, yeah, I could just draw things exact. So first I used tracing paper, so tracing paper, and then I done it exactly. Then I started drawing exactly it. Freehand. Freehand, and another thing, then I could do cartoon characters as well, where it's not me even drawing. I don't even think what I'm gonna. I wasn't even thinking what I'm gonna draw. Yeah. I just put my hand to the paper, and something just comes out. 
all the time. That's how it is. No, nothing, nothing to do with that. Nothing pre planned. Nothing in the head. No, nothing pre planned. Cut from the neck down. Just from the ne- from the neck down. Yeah. That's how it comes out. Yeah. That is fascinating. Age of seven. Yeah. Now let me ask you something. If this part of the interview was taken into a junior school mm-hmm. for children of seven to hear how you were influenced mm-hmm. and then motivated yourself from within. What kind of story do you think that could be? Well, I think you hit on a, a kind of a important part because basically that's what it is. If, if a child is shown genius... Then it's got something. Then it, the, the child will move they'll to. They reflect. It. The no, they will move to it. Yeah, so they'll they will move reflect. To, they will move in, to it. In the but end. basically, most children get shut down. Yeah. They get shut down because they do have the capacity. Because they're, they're geniuses yeah. already, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. even more genius than the we were geniuses. We, yeah, right. Exactly. But the, the society, and even though they can invent the latest mobile phones or or, or, or find discover the net planets and send, they they can't even tap into. The, the genius that we've got in our brains because another thing that's what I got that got shut down as well because when I when I went to the A level mm-hmm. class the teacher decided wanted to show me to draw in a different way oh yeah, so no, then no, I no, just, no 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 say say that again my brother what yeah, the teacher wanted to... Because I could just see something and instantly just... So I thought, that, we've got a bottle of water in here. Yeah. I would see the bottle of water and i just draw the bottle of water. But the teacher would say, no, first you've got to outline the shape. Then you've get, got to get the dynamics properly. Then you've got to use your ruler to measure. Then, And that just shut me down totally. When you say shut you down, can you explain shut me down? I know those are just words, but tell me what it really did for you. Uh, you know, say, it, it, what did you feel about it? It just feels like it's all your powers, all your energies just disappearing. That's what it feels. Your powers, not mine. Yeah, I yeah, don't yeah, have yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you just yeah. feel you, 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 all you feel is like the powers are just. Dis- no, all I feel. Can I use the? Can you use all the all first, first thing, please? The powers, yeah. mm-hmm. Your powers just drain away and gone. That's it. That's what it is. Wow, just like that. Just like that's that. That's what it feels like. That's what it. Yeah, that's what it is. Oh man. And how old were you then? That's A level. Maybe about fifth. Maybe about fifth. 15, maybe about 15, about 15. Wow. Yeah. But I still passed the A level in one year because I didn't even do that. I didn't do O level art. Huh? I just went straight into A level. I didn't do O level at all. Come on, what? Yeah, I didn't do O level. Nothing to do with O level, nothing at all. I just went straight into A level. You were that advanced? Something, well, something like that, yeah. Well, you had yeah, to so be. Even with, on, all, even with all that, and yeah. I never painted before, so I started painting as well. Wow. A girl showed me how to paint, and I just started painting as well. So I still managed to pass. In, in one year, A level in one year. But that kind of killed me anything to do with art, really, even though I passed it. After that, it stopped. Yeah, just, from what it, he, he yeah, did. Yeah, yeah, so. Okay, I, I hear that, but let's stick with your genius for the rest of the program. Because mm-hmm. the next time we interview, I'll remember exactly where we we're at. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and we can pick it up from there. But just tell me, you know, what, what, how, how, do you motivate yourself? Uh, do you have to motivate yourself? Or is it just something that's instantly come out of you? you know? That's it. No, well, no motivation required. It's just once it's there, it's just, it's just, it's, it's really trying to stop it. You know, because it can take over in a certain way. Really? Yes. Yeah, so what do you mean the, by that? It's just, you just got this constant desire to find out more and more. And the more you find out, is the more you want to find out. And then the more you find out, the more you want to, you want to find out. You know, so um, it's just, uh, it's just once this, this switches on, it's like you can't get enough of it in a certain way. Because I suppose in our life, we've we've, we've sort of been um, undernourished. You know, they say we use ten percent of the brain, so we've really been undernourished in what we do. We, we, we've learned how to be weak. You know, we've learned how to be yeah, weak and inadequate. Mm-hmm. We've been trained to be less than what we really are. You know. So once like one of your switches is switched on, it's like you can't get enough of it. Mm-hmm. You know, you can't get enough of that's who you really are. It's like a I don't know, it's, it's like a yeah, like a eagle living amongst chickens mm. and didn't realise it could fly. Whoa, you know? what a metaphor. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I don't take you credit for that. No, you have to take credit, my brother. Listen to me. It's coming out of you, right? 
Nobody's telling you to say this. Mm -hmm. This is how you feel. This is how the interview has got you to express, um, you know, these things. I mean, how, how have you expressed these previously to now? Not really like that, but I think this is the best one I could say. Like, yeah, an e e uh, eagle living amongst chickens. Very excellent. Once the eagle finds out it can fly, mm -hmm. it's not going to want to go back on the ground again. That's right. That's so that's right. what it is like when I found out about the words, when that started to come to me about the language of the words. I'm not going to want to go down to being dumb again or numb or, or yeah. being a letter and let things happen to me, yeah. Yeah. you know. Yeah. Even though after a while, sometimes the, the life situations does start to make it's you restricted. Sort of restricted and yeah. makes you go down that hill again yeah, yeah, yeah. when you hit the even if you land against the bottom mm -hmm. you just want to go back up again and you don't want to go back down again. well you mentioned earlier when I asked you about motivation you said well you don't have to get motivated by the truth is if you understand motivation to be something which comes from inside mm -hmm. you may not be aware it's motivation you may not have to give it a name but it has to happen in order for you to... I think partly it's, it's the survival instinct, you know, mm -hmm. when you when you kind of realise certain things, mm -hmm. that things ain't as straightforward as you thought, you know. Like or, what? Like what? Well, life isn't as straightforward as you thought, you know. Life you, or living? You, you could walk outside... Life or living? Eh? Life or living? Um, existed. <laughs> okay. So first we talk about survival, now we're talking about existing. Because you could, okay. if you if you really look at the dynamics, you could walk out today and hit, be hit by a car. Oh yeah. Your your life could be ended in the next in, in the next two hours. Mm. This might be your last day on the planet. Mm. People don't think like that. Mm. You know, they're not thinking about today. Fatalities. Not thinking about <laughs> utilizing. Yeah. The time that they may or may not have. Mm. You know, what would you do if you knew this was your last day on the planet? You know, mm. yeah, that's the kind of, it's, it's survival instinct because if you look at like most animals, they're not really thinking about tomorrow. They're thinking about, I wonder if I walk out if this lion's going to catch me. Mm. You know, the mm. ants thinking about, I wonder if someone's going to tread on me any yeah. minute. And that kind of level of thinking raises your consciousness mm. because you have to be aware of what's going on around you. Mm. You know, and I think part of what happened to me is the awareness of who you really are because basically you can think what you are but the reality will tell you what you need to do yeah. you ain't got time to be thinking oh I'm this and I'm that a situation will come when you have to react to it mm -hmm. or act to it mm -hmm. you know so mm -hmm. I think that's what's kind of out of all of what's happened to me is the mind state that I'm able to sort of switch my mind onto a I wonder if the person who might end my life is, was born today. Mm. And when I get on that bus, I'm going to meet up with that person. Mm. You know, so thinking beyond the scenario that you're already in. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, and the next thing is that you kind of realise that just like your favourite movie, you're the main character mm -hmm. in your life mm -hmm. or your existence mm -hmm. and really there's only one right move that you can make to get out of whatever situation you're in mm -hmm. and it, the best thing to do is focus on the, there's one move that you can make out of if, if, even if there's ten bad moves has it got to be calculated or can it be instant though this well move. the thing about it is when your mind kicks into gear mm -hmm. sometimes your mind would be worried about blah blah what should I do you know, in all situations, sometimes because there's instinct reaction, and there's when the brain pulls in. But when the brain pulls in, just like I remember the old Batman f films at the end of the at the end of the episode, you see this man is in some impossible situation that there's no way he's getting out of it. The challenge, <laughs> yeah. the challenge, the <laughs> challenge. Yeah, exactly. yeah. I mean, then, really, uh, yeah. challenges come in all different yeah. ways and form. But when you say when you say um, about wanting to know what to do next like it seems like an ideologue you it's know not, it's not that you want to do next I said what is this one right move that you can make mm -hmm. in any situation how do you know that though eh? see for me I'll need to know how do you know there's one right move because it's life or death or even if worst case scenario there's no way out you don't think there's anything between life on one side and death on the other side so called what if you can't die? What if we never die? 
Well, the thing is, I'm only, I can only, I can only exist in this present moment in a certain way. And, and what, what I've got the is power to define. Is it you to say that? Say it again. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can only exist in this present moment in a certain way. Yeah. And in my own power and capacity, mm-hmm. you know, I know that in certain, in a scenario, there's one move that you can make in a scenario when it comes to choices. Mm-hmm. And it's to focus on the one move. When you can focus on the one move or look for the one move, then you've got a sense of direction. You've got a sense of purpose. When you start to worry or try to guess or whatever, but you have to see yourself as the main character first. Mm-hmm. If you don't see it, you're not going to get to that level. So you've got to see that you're the main character mm-hmm. and there's one move that you can make in a certain situation. Because I remember my friend always used to beat me at pool every day. Pool, pool, pool beat me. And then uh, after I came to this kind of understanding, mm-hmm. there's, there's one, the day he came and said, how much do you want to lose by today? Mm-hmm. And when he said that, I said, this man's not beating me. What happens <laughs> inside? What happens inside your head? What happens inside your stomach? What happens inside well, I you? I just got charged up. I said, this man ain't beating me. When you say charged up, I like these phrases you use, but I like yeah, to, yeah. you to tell me what it means. Like some energy just came into, energy. It, it just okay. came into mm-hmm. To mm-hmm. my mentality that this person is not, there's no way this person is going to be beating me. Mm-hmm. No way, you know. Mm-hmm. And then I, all I done was just focus on what's the, because we're at pool, it's all different angles mm-hmm. and different positions. Mm-hmm. Geometry. And it's, then, mm-hmm. there, 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 there's tension, mm-hmm. then there's analysing, then there's fear, then there's panic. The then, execution. Then, then, then there's trying to impose yourself. And in execution. And Don't execution. Forget. Well, execution. <laughs> cue action. <laughs> yeah. So, the, the acute, yeah, I like that. But, um, so, then I just said, there's one right thing I can do to hit this board in the hole. One right move. And I just focused on that. And I beat my man. <laughs> yeah, well, David, that's been fascinating. I'm telling you, we have to go back here. So we're talking about from two years old, literally. Let's mm-hmm. just recap for the for everybody's benefit. And what you discovered at age seven by itself, yeah? Mm-hmm. Then you made another spurt up to around about, was it about 12-ish? Yeah. Yeah, when you went off certain things and then you tuned back in again at 13, yes? And then you went through, forgetting about the O-level standard, you just went straight through to A-level, mm-hmm. yeah? And you, you passed the art and everything, but somebody, some teacher or another, or some person who didn't want to learn what your needs were, mm-hmm. can we put it that way? I think yeah. you just said another point, key point that you hit on is we need to learn how our youths learn. Touch me, man. Big time talk. Big time talk. See, that's what I'm doing here. I'm doing a show so that, and I've designed it about learning. I'm passing on the baton of learning mm-hmm. by just giving one innovator, one, 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 you know, individual achievement or whatever, yes? And we start, like you, you've noticed from the current times. We can always move backwards, yeah, to others previously. But for me, it's all about now, yeah? So, David, let me say this. We've only got a few more minutes left. I want to quickly recap the whole program. While I do that, can you help me select the, the next one? What I just want to do is very quickly, coming from the interview with David Jammers, this is only part one of his interview because we've sort of um, have to manipulate the time in a different way. Um, but the next time he appears, we will take it from age of, is it 15, did you say, David? Yeah, something like, yeah, 15. Quickly. 15 years old. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What is that sound? That's the sound coming from here. Are you too close? Yep, right now we're just gonna sign out, but we wanna sign out. Sion Behelio, who works for Google. She is partner engineering team. She's part of the Android partner engineering team at Google. For that, peace out. This is Lyndon signing off.